The spirit of inter-service rivalry in the United States Armed Forces is exemplified on the second Saturday in December with the showdown between the U.S. Military Academy and the U.S. Naval Academy on the college football gridiron. The players' commitment to service is celebrated with a spirited game of football, played annually since 1930 between Army and Navy. We'll take a look back at the history and meaning of this game, perhaps the rivalry that put the sport on the map, on this episode of Stadium Rivals. The cadets and the midshipmen played for the first time on November 29, 1890. The Naval Academy's football program was established 11 years earlier. Each midshipman on Navy's team contributed 52 cents for half of the traveling cost to play at West Point, taking down Army 24 to nothing in the cadets' first season. President Theodore Roosevelt attended the 1901 contest, an 11 to 5 Army win. Roosevelt walked across the field at halftime to switch seats to the other academy's side, showing a gesture of goodwill to each school. This tradition would continue, as nine sitting presidents have attended the Army-Navy game as of 2018. The 1926 game between Army and Navy was the dedication of Chicago's Soldier Field and was played in honor of all those lost fighting in World War I. 110,000 fans witnessed a one-loss Army, who had only lost to Notre Dame, face an undefeated Navy team. Playing to a point of near darkness, an absolute stalemate resulted in a 21-21 tie. In the 30 games played between the service academies prior to the annual showdown starting in 1930, Army held the 15-12-3 edge over Navy. While many schools suspended their football programs during World War II, Army and Navy did not. In both 1944 and 1945, Army and Navy entered the game number one and two respectively. The 1944 matchup, played shortly before the Battle of the Bulge and labeled the game of the century, featured a 32-13 Army victory. It was the first of three straight national championships for Army from 1944 to 1946. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated on Friday, November 22, 1963. Most college football games were moved to the following week and Army-Navy was in threat of cancellation as the military planned to honor a national 30-day mourning period. However, at the urging of Jacqueline Kennedy, the game was moved to December 7th. Kennedy himself attended the game in 1961 and 62 and had planned to be at the 1963 contest. Number two Navy, led by Heisman Trophy winner Roger Staubach, took down Army 21 to 15 to guarantee a spot in the Cotton Bowl for the national championship. If that wasn't enough, a new TV innovation debuted during Army-Navy in 1963. It was a routine one-yard TV run by Army QB Raleigh Stitchway, but broadcaster CBS would use instant replay for the first time to give viewers a second opportunity at seeing the score, something that's become ubiquitous to our football viewing experience ever since. First awarded in 1972 by Richard Nixon, the Commander-in-Chief trophy is given to the winner of the series of football games between Army, Navy, and Air Force. At two and a half feet high, the trophy consists of three silver footballs to represent each school, above engraved plates displaying the winners of the trophy. We jump ahead to 2016, when Navy came into the game on an unprecedented 14-game win streak in the rivalry. Army took a 14-0 lead into halftime on the back of two touchdowns from Andy Davidson. However, Navy stormed back after halftime, eventually grabbing a 17-14 lead. But Ahmad Bradshaw proved the Army's rushing attack, which gobbled up 316 yards on the day, was too much, punching in a nine-yard score for Army's 21-17 win, ending 14 years of frustration. Played mostly on the East Coast in Pennsylvania or Maryland, the Army-Navy game tends to mark the end of the college football season, a chance to look back before bowl games begin. For the service members that do battle in this game, an active duty military commitment follows, making this game even more poignant as football careers come to an end. When the game is over and both alma maters are sung, we remember this game for the battle and honor the players for their commitment to country. Army-Navy has placed itself right into the conversation as a sport's best rivalry. Many we break down on Stadium Rivals. <laughs>